welcome back guys. We're uh, down at Burners Hall for a vlog special, uh, second episode in the series. Um, I'm fishing with my pal Phil. We've just turned up at the resi. Uh, we had a walk around, did a lap of it. Uh, didn't really see much. See one fish jump pr pretty much centre of the lake. Um, it's a big square lake, what island sort of into one corner. You've got a deep end and a shallow end. Um, and it's your typical resi really, just big steep slope banks. Uh, big hard gravel bottom um, and crystal clear water. So we've got set up, um, been watching the water, haven't really seen a lot to go by. Um, but I thought I'd just knock the intro out and then I'm gonna get the marker float out, um, have a little feel about. I'm pretty sure it's just a uniform bottom, um, but like I say, until we get the marker out, we won't know what we've got in front of us. Uh, it's quite full, uh, there's people on every bank. So we'll, um, we'll play it by ear. There was a geezer in this swim a couple nights ago, but he's moved around to the far corner now. Um, but the wind's hammering down here and it's due to swing and go against the bank that I'm looking at. So with a bit of luck, um, it'll push the fish down. Uh, one of the 40s come out last night. Um, there's about 500 odd fish in the 24 acres. Uh, so it's a well-stocked reservoir. Um, two to three 40s, um, a few 30s, and, and like I say, loads of pretty stockies. So there's plenty to go at. Um, so like I say, we get the marker out now, have a little feel about, and I'll, um, I'll come back to you with what we find. Just a little update then as where we are now. Um, I've had a lead about with a marker float. Um, I'm in peg two, which I believe is Bailiff's mate. To the extreme left, I've got 10 foot, and it's gradually increases up to about sevens, eights in front of me. Um, probably about 40 yards out, there's a big weed bed, quite dense. Um, so I've popped the float up just outside of it, in the clear, right up against it. I'm gonna stick two rods there on a big baited area. My left rod, just slightly over to my left, probably only about 15 yards out, eight foot of water, again, an hard, hard bottom. Um, it's pretty uniform, like I said it was gonna be. Um, you get the odd donk, but it's probably lumps of boulder like this that are littered all over the bank. Um, as I say, the bottom's probably similar to what we're sitting on now. So that's the three spots. 
Um, bait wise, or baiting wise rather, um, I've gone for the Irish nut as usual. I've got 80 mil, 15 mil and some chops, five kilo of that in a bucket. I've soaked them for a day and a half in the liquid food system, um, the old food source liquid for the Irish nut. So that soaks in really well. And I've got five kilo of trout pellet and I've doused that in the black pepper slicker oil um, and let that sit for a day, day and a half as well. Um, Bosch them together last night, give it another bottle of the old black pepper slicker oil. Um, and like I say, yeah, that's gone out. I've got to put half a bucket out on the spot, so that's roughly, roughly about five kilo for two rods, two and a half key. It's not a lot of bait considering the 500 odd fish that are in here, um, and they're all they're all munchers as well. Um, left hand rod, I've just put about 10, 15 pouches of uh, 18 mil over the top. So big beds of attractive bait, um, eye attractant, eye, eye leakage um, to draw them fish in. Fishery rules, there's no lead core, um, there's a lead core ban, so we've had to go over to tubing. Me, I'm not a great lover of tubing, um, but I find the best stuff that suits me is the old dark matter from Calder. I've gone for the gravel, hybrid lead clip systems, and a three ounce distance lead. Um, so yeah, pretty box standard. Other than going um, bare all the way through to the lead clip, uh, it's the best we can do. The bottom's quite, quite bright. Um, it's not really a dark clay sort of color. So this does, you can see it, it does stand out a tiny bit, um, but it's the best we can match it with. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, I'm gonna sit, it on it, sit on it now for about an hour, um, let the spots rest, I've had an hour and a half of uh, commotion with the old lead and the um, spawn going in. So I'm gonna rest the swim, have a cup of tea, keep my eyes on the water, see if I do see anything. If I do, then I will just whack a rod out quickly on top. Um, but other than that, I'm going to rest it for about an hour and a half. Get my bearings, get tidied and set. Um, and I'll, uh, I'll have a catch up with you in a bit. It'll take five minutes while the wind's blowing an absolute early to run you through the rigs. Um, one of the rigs that I'm going to send out to the baited spot behind the weed bed is this little beauty here. Um, it's an IQD rig, 20 pound IQ. Got a tiny little micro swivel running on the D on the shank of the curve shank. Um, that's a size six captor. North East Baits custom dumbbell as per. Uh, just tied that on with a bit of bait floss. Only tiny, probably about four, four and a half inches and then a kicker on the top. Um, so it's nice and simple on that one. A Little bit of a change for me. Um, don't normally fish them, but I thought I'd give it a go. A couple of my pals have been raving about them, so you can't help but try, can you? The second rig that I'm gonna send out onto the baited spot, um, I'm gonna match the hatch. So the bait that I've been putting out there, I've took one of the boilies out of the bucket. Now this is an 18 mil Irish nut, but it's absorbed the black pepper slicker oil and the food source system uh, from the Irish nut. So it's just matching the hatch really, so I've got one that will stand out and I've got one that's the same as what's there, so edging the bets. That's tied onto my me, uh, me dark matter braid, size 6 wide gape, rig ring and a heat shrunk kicker, little sinker probably about an inch from the eye of the hook and the trademark business at the top. Again, quite short, probably only 7, seven inches. Um, I'm fishing short rigs and heavy leads, so as soon as they pick that rig up, I want them hitting that lead. Drags are going to be wide open so they can just run wherever they want. Um, we left down rod, done a bit of research through the catch reports um, and it seems that like a lot of fish come out to pink pop-ups. So lo and behold, my man down at North East Baits, Jamie, knocked me up some 18 mil pop-ups. Um, these are berry tang in pink um, and I'm going on to a stiff inch rig. Uh, the reason for this is I won't fish a naked shod, um, especially not in water as rough as this. Um, I don't think the line layer would be awful. Um, so I'm going to go onto a stiff injury because that will allow me to fish a pop-up. Um, it's the hybrid stiff braid, big blob of putty, onto the loop and then just your standard chod. Um, but like I say, that enables me to fish a pop-up in a situation like this. So yeah, that's the three rigs that are going to be going out. Um, swim's probably been rested for about half hour while I've got the rigs ready. So I'm going to give it another half hour, 45 minutes before I do anything. 
Um, probably get the kettle on again, warm up, because um, it's pretty choppy out here. Um, but like I say, if reservoirs is your cup of tea, get yourself down to Burners All. Um, Art of Essex, cheap and cheerful, I think it's about 30 quid for 24 hours, so stamp the fish you've got in here, you can't really knock it really. Um, but yeah, as I say, it's a new challenge for me, a bit different. Um, but yeah, we'll crack on, do our best. And hopefully, once we get the rods out, we'll uh, not be waiting too long before the old delk screen. your tracks today
This is a Chicky Bee production. Right, so we're coming up to seven o'clock. Um, we're getting absolutely battered by the wind all day long. Um, little bursts of rain, bits of sunshine. Haven't really seen anything other than when we first got here. We see one fish mid-water, um, but yeah, nothing else. In the last 10, 15 minutes, I've had what looks to be like a slip coming up on the spot um, where I've got the two rods. Um, it's hard to tell with the wind and the chop on the water. Might be able to tell a little bit later if it continues and the wind drops off. Um, but it does look to be like a slick coming up on the spot. So, with a bit of luck, there's something down there grabbing away and uh, one of the rods goes shortly. Um, we're about to order a Chinese. Um, I think Onga Chinese delivers to burn us all up to the gate. So, the menu you can find on their Facebook page and obviously just order it up and uh, they'll give you a bell when they're at the gate. So, we're going to take advantage of that. Get Chinese ordered up. But, um, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up for now. I'm not doing the rods, I'm not going to touch them. Um, we've had three, four people turn up. Everyone seems to be chucking about doing their rods now. Um, so I'm going to leave mine in. They've been there all day, so in a way I'm sort of resting a swim, even though I've got lines in the water um, with no disturbance. I'm hoping everyone led in about fish might follow the wind and come down here. Um, so yeah, if I don't have a fish through the night, I'll, um, I'll catch up with you in the morning. But yeah, we're going to leave it there for the, uh, the first night of uh, episode two for the vlog special down at Burners All. With a bit of luck, I'll be seeing you just after me Chinese. I don't really want to fish while I'm eating me chinky, but yeah, just after the Chinese would be nice. And I'll, um, yeah, if I don't catch up with you with a fish, I'll see you in the morning. Welcome to the second morning. Nothing last night for either of us. Um, still slicking late into the evening, um, but it, it sort of died off. Didn't have any liners or anything like that. Um, so I'm going to reassess it today. Maybe move one of the two rods that are clipped up to the same distance a little bit further. Um, maybe move one of them a little bit shorter um, instead of having them both pinpoint on the same 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 sort of distance. Um, but there was definitely something going on because it wasn't it wasn't slicking all through the day. Um, it was only late evening that it started to slick up. Um, there's a little bit of a slick still coming up now. Um, but I'm going to top the spot back up, um, redo the rods, and I might possibly move my left rod. I'm not too sure yet. Um, but yeah, we're going to play it by ear. No one had anything last night from what I can gather. Um, so yeah, it's. Uh, it's a little bit of testing the water really, um, like I say, first time visiting the venue, but uh, we're not going to sit here and make excuses, we'll just get on with it and see if we can nick one before we're off tomorrow morning. But we've got a full day ahead, um, I've swung the bivvy around because the wind swung in the opposite direction and started slapping me in the face, and we're due some heavy rain at about 12, as well as a possible thunderstorm tonight, so I've swung the bivvy around, I'm now facing the water so I can actually watch the spot instead of having to lean out my bed chair on my knees like I'm praying. Um, but yeah, a bit more confident today. Like I say, we've had a night now to settle in, so it's time to go to work and see if we can uh, nick a fish. So um, I'll redo the rods and I'll uh, catch up with you about midday.
Right, we'll just to run you through what we've done this morning. Uh, I made the marker float out again. Um, I found a spot past the weed bed now um, where I'm fishing with my right and my middle rod. So I've put the left rod on that. Um, it's the other side of the weed bed. After speaking to the owner, um, he said there's gullies in the weed bed, but other than that, it is pretty much a flat bowl. So the channels in the weed is obviously where the fish move through. So I've stuck the left rod over there. Um, two of the rods come in this morning with no bait on, which is a little worrying. Um, hence me sitting here like an hour watching the uh, fish slick up on the spot, but the rods not go. So I've um, redone the rods. Um, I've gone on to pink pop-ups. Again, speaking to the owner, pink pop-ups seem to be the way forward. Um, so yeah, we can all but try. But uh, there possibly might be a part two in the pipeline. Obviously, if we don't have anything this session, we may come back and just uh, try and crack the venue, try and get a few fish for the film. But that's something I'll have to speak to the owner about. But um, yeah, rolling up to midday now on day two. The rods are out on the spot, so I've redone the bait as well. I've put another 10, 15 spot falls back out on, on the right and the middle rod. Um, so yeah, it's just a wait and go now, we'll sit and wait. Don't think the fish are really playing ball all over. Um, no one's had anything, so it's just a case of uh, sitting it out and seeing if we can nick one. Well, as you can probably hear, we're taking a batter in. Uh, it's rained for most of the day now. Um, what we're coming up to three o'clock. It's uh, due in till about half nine-ish tonight. Um, so we're busy bound. Can't really do any filming. Um, just getting smashed by it really. Um, on a reservoir you haven't really got that much cover so it's not ideal but we are drier but yeah I wouldn't like to be going out there now. But um, yeah we're here till tomorrow, we're going to give it till tomorrow lunchtime. Um, it's meant to dry up through the night and then obviously tomorrow I'll warm up a little bit, hopefully dry everything out. Um, yeah. I haven't really seen much again. It's hard to tell really with the um, the movement on the top of the water. Unless something comes clean out, it's really hard to see anything. But uh, yeah, it is what it is at the end of the day. Uh, apparently it fished really well over the weekend and then slowed up Sunday night through to Monday. Um, so we haven't really come at the best time speaking to a couple of local lads. As of Monday morning, it was sort of uh, fishing quite quite badly. But um, yeah, we'll sit it out. There's not really much else we can do at the minute. And uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, we've got a new wind. Um, we've got a southerly coming across now. Should bring us some warm weather tomorrow. So with a bit of luck, maybe, maybe, there might be a fish tonight. But um, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you a bit later on. I think Phil's going to get the old ridge monkey on now, do us some lunch. So yeah, I'll uh, see you in a bit. Coming up to seven o'clock, as you can hear, still getting absolutely battered. I've had to move from down on the sandbank to up on the grass hill because I was just getting flooded through the bottom of my brolly. So as you can imagine, that was fun. We've seen another couple of fish show themselves this side of the island now, um, so they're getting closer. 
this range just getting heavier. But um, yeah, nothing's changed other than we're a lot more wet. But I'll, um, I'm going to sit back, get the kettle on. Uh, I can see this one being a complete and utter write off to be honest with you. But we'll, uh, we'll do my best. <laughs> We we're just at nine o'clock. Wind's dropped off a bit. Rain's finally stopped. Uh, just got the kettle on. It's absolutely freezing. Everything's damp, wet, horrible. Um, again, nothing to report really. It's been pretty much the same all day. Just chucking it down. Seen the odd fish here and now, but I'd say out of the two nights, I'm probably more confident tonight because we've seen quite a few down this end. Um, but yeah. The rods have stayed on the spots from when I redid them this morning at about 11 o'clock. And uh, yeah, they're going to stay there now till the morning. Probably give it till midday, let everything dry out. But um, yeah, I think we could possibly be doing a part two, maybe come back next month and uh, see if we can get onto them. But uh, yeah, it is what it is, I'm afraid that's fishing. But I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you in the morning, hopefully with a fish, but I'll probably have a coffee in my hand. Actually, it's bigger than I thought. Yeah, it's not a bad fish. It's not a bad fish at all, mate. Right. Oh, right, Bill. Oh, right, Bill. then on the vlog special last knockings just about to pack up and old golden balls here his right rod rips off results 25 pound mirror absolutely battered last night but all the hard work's paid off son cheers nice bit of bait getting it out there sitting through the rain and the results your hard work pays off in the end i think we'll still try and wangle another 48 and come back for a bit more action but um yeah, I think we're going to leave it there and I'll, uh, I'll catch you next time. Sorry, music.